dear Pisces, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of January with me, Kuna Kaps Taroa. As an extended member to this channel, you will get the readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there is a reading up 2022 love prediction for the full members to this channel. And the gifts of 2022 is up for all the members where we reveal what you have to look forward to in 2022. Extended and full members can also order readings from me with a 30% discount after the holidays. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for December to get a context and this is the prediction for January. I will start reading your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto de Angelis. So sorry, <laughs> trying to fix this. Okay, so when I open your deck here, I see the hangman together with the chariot. So it seems like you have been blocked for a while, but there might be forward movement to expect, okay? If you have been feeling as if you are stuck, it seems as is the energy will start to move forward, okay? So uh, I call the divine with love and light. So we have a two of pentacles here. You know, when, when um, something starts to roll and it's a little bit unsettled, uh, the first steps. So it seems as if things won't go as smooth as you might hope when, uh, you know, uh, things start to move on again. It might be that there will be a stressful situation or something will feel as if it's getting a little bit out of hand. Um, maybe the wheels <laughs> are a little bit loose on your chariot. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have the ten of wands with the hangman in the reversed. Um, it seems that some kind of sacrifice is involved with getting a move on, okay? So something uh, that's a little bit unpleasant for you, which you don't want to let go of, or um, it might be someone that you have loved for a very long time that you need to, you know, put the burden down. You can't take this person with you into the future, or um, it can be a number of different things, things that... Uh, um, like personality traits that you have had uh, that uh, you are not supposed to take with you uh, into this future. Some kind of burden that needs to be put down so that you can be free from whatever is blocking your forward movement. So I call the six elements and here we have the hermit in the reversed and together with the hangman. So hermit in the reversed. Mm. It, it seems as if you need to go uh, on your own on this journey for a bit. Uh, there's something um, that's calling you to look inside, like even deeper inside than what you have done before. Um, it, this is not going to be as easy as it's... Uh, let's say like this. Say that you have an unhealed wound and... Uh, uh, you have felt blocked for a longer time with your forward movement, but if you would take it seriously and really, you know, heal this old trauma, then you will be able to move forward. But if you refuse to take it seriously and just think that oh, it will solve itself, probably you will still be stuck. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. Uh, okay, six elements. Uh, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Pisces viewers. So I want my dear Pisces to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Hmm. Okay, so some of you might have a little bit of mother issues and uh, um, you are supposed to become uh, like the self-sufficient teenager without your mom. <laughs> so uh, releasing you from certain people that you have felt uh, in need of uh, so that you can move on and, and become your own grown-up 
person and, and loving yourself and knowing um, that you can survive on your own and be uh, able to thrive even on your own. So it's not little that's asked of you here. Okay. So I'll just tune in for a few seconds to you, the person most on your mind and your relationship in January. Okay. So uh, here is the new bottom of the deck, uh, 10 of pentacles. We had nine of pentacles, 10 of pentacles, like a beautiful future is promised to you. Uh, but you know, there's um, work that needs to be done. And this is the old bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. So this is the kind of damage that doesn't just heal by its own accord. Uh, you might need to go to uh, counseling or therapy or, you know, really do a lot of exercises to find out what it is that's, um, you know, have traumatized you and, and freezed you into this moment, unable to move forward. Uh, so it might be that you need to um, really learn to meditate, be able to go down to the Akashic records or, um, and rewrite <laughs> your, um, like in your soul's book. And also you might need to rewrite all your blueprints, go through them all and see what's uh, going on. What's, uh, what's your assumptions? What's, uh, how are you creating your life? Maybe in a certain negative way, because you have certain blueprints. A blueprint can be money doesn't grow on tree or, uh, I will never be loved or can be different things, but it can be good things as well. I'm always lucky. Uh, I'm always successful. Uh, so we don't want to change the good ones, but we want to uh, affirmate about the bad ones and, and um, uh, maybe even use certain methods. There's the Sedona method that we can use to let go of um, uh, old things that doesn't serve us anymore. For example, old pain, things like that. When we talk about pain, we might also need to feel into our pain and uh, locate where it is and try to figure out what it's all about so it can be healed finally. As, as I said, this is not going to happen by itself. You are going to have to do, um, you're going to have to put in some work to get this done. This is what's on your mind with the person most on your mind. And this is the situation with said person. This is what's on their mind with you, uh, your feelings towards them the bond between you two their feelings towards you and this is your behaviors and attitudes the uh, outcome for January and this is their behaviors and attitudes so we start with the situation here and we have a nine of cups in the reverse so it's a little bit messy because uh, uh, it's almost like you can't find peace inside your own body it's almost uh, as if the bed is full of, you know, lumps and stones and other things. So it can't, you can't find a comfortable position. And, um, and wherever you go, there you are. So you can blame other people like this person did me like that and that person did me like that. But it doesn't matter if they are there or not. You're still going to be in pain because you haven't cleaned out your, your temple, your own body. Uh, you haven't dealt with um, the uncomforts of uh, your old traumas. Okay. And um, this is uh, what's on your mind with the person most on your mind. Eight of cups. If you just leave them behind, if you just, you know, let go of them, then you will be free. But that's not true. We have seen this. Uh, wherever you go, there you are. So even if you kick... Uh, this person to the curb and you know this is your investment in the relationship with them and this is you walking away but you know you will still feel like this because wherever you go there you are and it's not they might have done hor horrendous things towards you but uh, it's your trauma that invited them in because if you were healed um, these things wouldn't happen to you. They happen to you as long as you are unhealed. There's no real, uh, like, it's no real, <laughs> it's not a goal to be perfect and healed because uh, then life would become boring and we would never be challenged and, you know, we will have to simply transfer to paradise and, you know, play harp on a cloud somewhere. So maybe it's not um, ideal to, to, to heal, like, through and through if we want to still live 
a life where we can learn and expand and um, you know have more experiences uh, when you're done you're done but then maybe you move to another reality and learn something from that but in this reality uh, we usually have some challenges and we it's not an end goal to work them all through and and be perfect but the certain ones that makes us repeat uh, uh, endless cycle of almost like being in hell you know over and over we just create the same drama the same over and over again uh, it, it might be beneficial for you to heal that one and um, and when you have healed that one you will find other that needs to be healed and other and other so you will never be like unemployed when it comes to healing your trauma uh, but certain things, like at least so it's comfortable to be in your own body, at least so you can find inner peace and, you know, enjoy the things that you're doing with your life and not always feeling like this anxious energy. And um, this anxious energy is also a match to other people coming in and hurting you the same way over and over and over again, because uh, we are supposed to be expert in certain fields. And so you want to be an expert in your field, which is the trauma that's repeating. So there you're going to be an expert. A, a person that hasn't gone through the things that you have gone through, they wouldn't be able to help other people that's going through the same. And so we need to have um, painful experiences so we can help other people that has these experiences. Like we become more skilled, uh, the more pain and um, challenges we go through so it's not a bad thing that you go through this but uh, sometimes we need to also graduate it's not pleasant to just stay in the same loop over and over so that's how you have gotten stuck you haven't been able to find out uh, like the key to unlock this level of your video game so you can move on to the next level so you're on the same level and it's starting to get boring okay uh, so this is what's on the other person's mind about you. And we have a five of coins in the reverse. Again, in the sense that they understand you. Uh, they realize what you are doing, that you're trying to uh, get back self-respect. You're trying to clean out your life. Uh, people that's not supportive towards you, you're kicking them to the curb. They understand it and they understand that they might be, you know, collateral damage in this process or even like the main focus of this process so it's not um, you're not doing this uh, and they are opposing it I'm not seeing them opposing it I'm seeing them understanding maybe even being a little bit shameful um, for the part that they might have played uh, in your drama okay and this is your uh, or the bond between you two and we have a nine of coins so it shows like a singles energy we also have the nine uh, nine of cups we also had the hermit ca coming in the reversed uh, so it shows um, energy of not being able to really connect with other people without getting this trauma karma drama uh, projections circular thing coming in between and you know wrecking the whole thing so we might feel as if it's better to be single it's better for me to be single it's just crazy in my relationships I can't take it anymore um, so and it's a good it's not it's a healthy card nine of coins and you also had the ten of coins here so you're building something healthy for yourself and um, you are supposed to you know be able to level up <laughs> and not have to have this same uh, trauma karma drama repeating so and this is one of the keys is to you know be the teenager moving on away from home finding out how to take care of yourself like um, maybe throwing away some of the things that um, previous existence have taught you, like your parents, uh, conditioning, things like this, uh, and be free of those older patterns that was not beneficial to you, taking with you the things that were beneficial, and then making up your own rules as you go. The hermit is about, you know, looking at <clears throat> society on the outside, looking in and seeing uh, what was good and what was bad uh, how do I want to m live my life how uh, don't I want to live my life uh, so it's about almost picking the raisins out of the cookie and um, so this is your feelings and we have the sherry so you really 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 want to move on <laughs> from this endless uh, cycle and god damn it uh, this time I'm going to make it and it's um, uh, you're getting a little bit frustrated but in the same time very determined so that's that's good 
uh, and this is uh, the other person's uh, feelings and we have um, a sense of loss here with this little uh, queen of cups in the reverse it might be a feeling of losing you that you are not uh, the same sweet little person <laughs> that they once fell in love with maybe and and you're not maybe even uh, available for them like you're kicking them to the curb and traveling away yourself so it's um, um, they might have very little access to you at this point in time but they seem to understand what what is all about and they understand maybe that it's not much that they can do while you are in this process you need to be in this process until you have healed then and, uh, and then wherever you go uh, you will be in peace and, and not upset and not angry and not uh, uh, blaming anyone else but have really taken charge over your own life and you know know your value know where your boundaries are at uh, so it will be you will come out on the other side but there's some work to be done in between and <laughs> this is your behaviors and attitudes so I think you have this with boundaries down <laughs> you know how to put boundaries now how to you know say no so uh, that's good but <laughs> it seems it is sweet because it seems very stubborn um, it's like you say no to everything right now but it's okay that's how we learn to say no and this is uh, the other person's um, behaviors and attitudes and it seems like they love you and they feel they understand you they feel empathy with you they miss you they probably want you back uh, but it's love and I, I definitely feel that there's love here so I think they accept wherever you are in this process right now they might feel sad for themselves but it seems as if um, uh, they can understand you sorry uh, <clears throat> okay I think we're doing that again I want to see what they would tell you if they would tell you the truth I will never stop loving you I don't feel good enough um, we have this card here they you have it feels like you have kicked them out and um, they don't feel as if you would want them anymore uh, but um, they have a hard time moving on from you as well because they still love you and uh, there was a lack of attraction um, so I don't know what this exactly this mean it might be that maybe they took you for granted in the beginning and acted like you weren't special to them uh, or maybe they feel as if you are not attracted to them anymore might look at this from your perspective as well I predicted family issues on our relationship I can't ever forget I think yeah, this is what you need to work through like the fam old family patterns it's um, it's better to you know work them through with your family and with them in mind than have to play out the same drama in all your relationship I can't ever forget so there's something you haven't uh, been able to for forget and forgive what happened to you when when you were a child and I think this might be what you need to take a little bit more seriously and you know do real groundwork with this even if it feels boring like it's the same old same old but it's still not healed so um, I think you need to take this seriously and and really find ways and techniques to work through your old family issues okay I'm ready for commitment <sighs> where did that come from um <clears throat> okay we might have had a problem earlier on that maybe one person didn't want to commit and you thought that it was from a lack of attraction um that might have been possible uh, if this is a recent event and before you might have been a little bit more codependent to your peers like the people around you uh, maybe then uh, you wanted to put them in your dollhouse and live the perfect life and maybe this person was more about uh, freedom and acting like they were not attracted to you enough to you know stay with you forever I think now the roles are reversed you still want the same thing though uh, but I wonder what's going on with this <clears throat> there was a lack of attraction uh, intentions <laughs> interested conversing more um messages arise text call email hoovering 
Well, uh, it seems as if um, you were asking for a very tight relationship, like the dollhouse, and um, that this person would should always have been there for you and, you know, nurtured you. Uh, every time you felt pain from your old family, they would have should have understood and you know, understood how they were triggering you. But I think it, it got a little bit too much for this person. They love you, but they couldn't be your, um, um, like they couldn't heal your childhood, if I put it like that. And that made them maybe a little bit overwhelmed. So this is your intentions. Girl with a snake, empath, narcissistic paradigm, being charmed or used, um, enable boundaries. So I think you are trying to, uh, you you want still commitment, you want still the dollhouse, um, but I think you're still attracting these kind of relationships, and um, I think here's the key, the dollhouse is you want to have your uh, original family fixed, or your upbringing fixed, and live a paradise life, um, I don't think that's what you really want, like from a soul level, but the little child that didn't get what they needed uh, think that this will be the fix, living in the dollhouse, living the perfect life. Um, it's probably more to that. Uh, so it's not, um, the solution isn't as easy as finding someone and spending the rest of the life with them because they will turn into a lot of problems. Um, for example, you would still project a lot of issues into the relationship and it would be um, your person's responsibility to try to fix this and it's too much for any person so I'm not saying that you're too damaged for a relationship but I'm saying you need to take care of your damage and not um, not put it in the lap of your partner because that would be overwhelming to anyone and they would say oh no thank you and start to back away and then it's the repetitive cycle where you again feel abandoned uh, and you think that you feel like the girl with a snake with some sneaky person that can't uh, um, have your back and they can't uh, like in this stage when you are asking too much they will probably come as immature babies with no spine and uh, not being able to have your back not being able to be loyal um, so that's not the answer the answer lies in something else now you're probably getting this experience over and over and that's why you're like this and i think it's good like to put the pause button on this a little bit so you don't have to relive the same thing over and over but you really need to find the key um to to this whole thing your attachment style towards um, particularly like romantic partner but yeah, you might have a specific attachment style also towards your friends and other people in your surrounding. And um, I, I think that you haven't got your needs met properly when you were a child. And now uh, it's all a little bit broken and you probably need to fix, you know, be able to fulfill your needs yourself. And that would be one part of this. But also there's a big chunk of, uh, you know, dealing with this uh, on a on a deeper level. OK. Uh, <clears throat> so I want to see this here we have um, this is actually a Pisces energy uh, knight of cups hmm. so um, I'm getting the sense that uh, your inside still dreams of the dollhouse here this is a little bit like a dreamer um, I think this person's love is more solid they, I think they see things more logically um, they understand that they can't be your psychotherapist or your mother uh, or your father. But um, I think they love you. But when you come like this, you will come with a lot of hidden demands. And as soon as they are not acting in the way that you think is uh, proper and they rob you the wrong way and um, it feels like the old pain is coming back, uh, then you will get very angry with them. Um, so... Uh, I think this person, if you come with love here, they will be a little bit scared. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, conversation. Okay, but they are open for a conversation. We see talking and um, you feel like you are talking with a snake, but I don't think that's the entire truth. Uh, I think you have been betrayed and you're seeing betrayal everywhere and people are proud to betray you. 
uh, because that's your wound. So it's almost like a black hole sucking in betrayal like this. But um, I think this can be solved. Um, I, I sadly see this, for example, happening in relationship to my son. He's recently started to uh, drive around with uh, the big tractor. Like he has uh, gotten his driver's license now and all these things. And um, uh, it happens that he uh, wrecks things. It's natural when, when we are a beginner. But uh, I have a tendency to cause people to wreck things because... Uh, that's my wound. People destroy things that's, that are mine and I need to uh, fix them. <laughs> so um, that would be an example for how this is working. Uh, so this person is not to blame <laughs> for like if they are working with someone else or like driving the tractor together with someone else, there will be no problem. But if they are doing me a favor, things will get broken. Um, so... And it's probably like a thousands and millions even of different examples, but it's not, you know, this tractor driver's fault <laughs> that uh, things um, br break um, because I have um, like a, a, a wounding where, uh, where I take it upon me to fix what other people breaks. Okay, so it's just a pattern, it's just an example, not a big thing, but it's very interesting when it happens. 25 metamorphosis yeah there's some chance for you to fix this here i feel it's very precarious uh, it's not particularly stable um anything can happen but it's almost like you have a small chance here maybe getting together talking about things restarting the relationship trying things out but as long as you have this trauma um you will probably create the same situation over and over again so you're in the process of a uh, deep and beautiful change. Butterflies earn their wings to great effort. The process of change is often painful for it's never without losses and sacrifices. We saw the sacrificing hangman over and over and over again when we shuffled the cars. If you are to transform from one form to another, a part of you needs to die. Letting go isn't easy, especially when you're used to thinking a certain way about your life and how you live it. Just as a snake sheds its dead skin or a caterpillar dies so that a butterfly can be born, you're required to release your old ideas and embrace a necessary change so you can live your best life. Perhaps you're being asked to let go of low self-worth, a dream that no longer serves you, a relationship that's draining, or an unhealthy habit. Despite your fear, you must accept that this is a transformational time for you. There will be some loss involved, but you'll love what you become. Uh, so if we uh, listen to this and take the example of, you know, people wrecking things, let's say that there's a um, uh, there's, um, handyman coming to my house, um, destroying the foundation of the house I was just about to build. Uh, up till now, I would have said, uh, it's no worry, I will fix it, I will, you know, um, make a new foundation, um, don't worry, okay, because I don't want the person to be ashamed. But... Uh, with my new knowledge <laughs> that this is not sustainable, I would probably say, okay, I'm, I'm so sorry you broke, <laughs> broke it and uh, you don't have to feel ashamed about it. That stuff happens, but uh, um, I need, you need to fix it, okay, because you broke it and, and so you need to fix it or your insurance needs to fix it. Uh, not much more than that. And when it comes to my family members, uh, probably I need to affirmate that uh, accidents happens it has nothing to do with my old pattern okay accidents happens people do mistakes uh, and it has nothing to do with my old pattern uh, so that could be one way and then we see how it works and if it um, gets a little bit better then we are on the right track and if there comes new challenges in the same topic we might need to rearrange maybe change some words um, particularly when we are making affirmations and we might also need to go to the you know the key event what was it that caused this in the first place and uh, and look uh, how how <laughs> what was the original damage and and what was it that I as a, a soul or a little child was trying to accomplish of course it was 
um, I didn't want someone uh, in my closer proximity to to think of themselves as a screw up. So I took it on me to fix uh, so they didn't have to feel bad about themselves. And um, that was um, nice, good, everything like it was a, a help to heal a, a person from this certain belief. Uh, but the thing that I inherit is now uh, the thing that I need to heal. <laughs> so it's always like this. And we learn in the process. It's, um, it's pretty amazing how it's built, uh, but it can also be super annoying. Okay. Um, so that was just an example for you. It's probably something else. Uh, and it's um, maybe um, being betrayed by your partner over and over or... Uh, they be them being unable to uh, like be receptive to your needs so it can be so many different things here okay so I would urge you to watch their true thoughts and feelings to get more information about this situation or uh, the love prediction to learn more at my first channel page you will find a playlist for your astrological sign where you can watch all the latest um, readings for your specific sign in one single playlist on the end screen, you will see the link to that playlist, so go and check it out. Thank you for watching and take really good care. Until next time, happy holiday season and a happy new year. Bye for now.